Welcome back to Zachus. I'm so glad you joined me for another video. This is gonna be a really quick video. I searched everywhere for a, some kind of instruction on YouTube or online anywhere and I couldn't find it so I thought I'd do a video right here on Zachus for the Simple Human 14 inch uh, or cabinet organizer pull out drawer. That is what this video is gonna be about. They're all the same whether you got a 20 inch or a smaller, a smaller one. All the pull out drawers from Simple Human are just like this. I just wanna show you how to take the tray off, how to drill it and install it. Super, super simple, 10 minutes. It's all it took me. I used a regular uh, drill and it was just like boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna show you everything. Here we go. Okay guys. I needed a way to organize underneath my cabinets because my cabinets were pretty deep and what was happening was I was filling up just the front part so I could get to stuff and I was losing all that back um, storage space. So I went looking, of course, researching and I came across my one of my favorite companies, Simple Human. I use their trash can, I use their laundry thing, I use their uh, toilet brushes. I use a lot of their stuff. Their stuff is just really, really well done. The shower caddy. <clears throat> and so when I found these uh, pull-out drawers, I didn't even notice who it was from. I just saw them and I thought those look really, really good. So I started reading about them. And then when they came, they had Simple Human all over them. I was like, oh, of course, that's why I love them. So what frustrated me the most is Simple Human is really awesome usually about walking through every little thing step by step. And the instructions were pretty lame and I couldn't find anything online. Maybe it's because most people can just figure it out. But I thought if you're like me, you want to get on YouTube, find a video. So I just want to show you really quick how easy this is. It took me like 10 minutes. Super, super simple once I figured it out. So the tray, there's this gray plastic hard plastic tray in the drawer, which is awesome because it's going to trap everything from just falling down and getting all messy in your cabinet. All you do is push it in on the side that lifts up. Just push it in it's all the way across so you hear it snap free and then it's going to slide out at an angle and you're just going to pull that out, set that aside and then you're going to see four screws into the slider. Of course you want all this slidden and tightly um, closed up. You don't want the drawer like out from the thing. And then I just took my drill gun and a Phillips head and I just unscrewed those four screws. They come out really simple. I just laid them aside and the, the wire tray just comes right off. Set it aside and then you have your base. There's four screws and all you have to do is clean out your cabinet of course. I wipe mine out and everything. And then you just gotta get down on your knees or if it's up top, wherever it is, get, get in there and lay it in there like you think it's gonna be. And I took the tray and put it back in there on top just to kind of make sure it was centered and even and uh, you know, would roll out and everything and then I took the tray off and went inside and drilled the holes. It's really quick, they're self-tapping holes, uh, I mean self-tapping screws, so you just give them a little, uh, little push and they just kind of drill into the wood. I put one at the top shelf and in the bottom, where both of them were just as easy. Um, just getting, gotta just get in there, drill them. It took me like literally 10 minutes, maybe less. Then once you get that in there, you just put the tray in there, line it up the holes, start the screws with your fingers on all four of them, and then get your gun back out. Don't snug them too tight. If you have a really powerful drill gun, just, just get it snug. You don't wanna like break it or strip it out or anything. You just wanna just gently get it snug in there. Once you get all four of those snug, just take that tray. The little lip goes in the back. Um, so you just wanna pull, you can pull it out now. Pull the, the, the drawer out and take that tray and it goes in at an angle and it, from the non-lip side, put it down and then lay it down and snap that lip side in in the back and you'll hear it audibly click, 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 click. And then um, you have these little dividers which you can use or you don't have to use but they're, um, they go in at an angle and they have a specific angle, they go in and they clip everywhere that there's a frame line. So they snap around that little line 
and I use I use them on mine, you can see, but you don't have to use them if you don't need to. The drawer is pretty sturdy. When I pull it all the way out, it gives a little bit, but it's not going anywhere. They have an amazing guarantee, amazing warranty. It looks amazing when I open my cabinet, it just looks really sharp, but most importantly is I just love that I got so much in that cabinet. I mean, I literally cleaned out several cabinets into just that one cabinet because now I've got the whole thing. And I thought, you know, did I really need this? But several days later, I went looking for something and I pulled it out and boom, I was able to just grab it. So nice, so easy. I'm gonna install more. Um, they're 70 bucks a piece, so they're kind of pricey. So I'm gonna go at it a little slow, not just go crazy. But I've got another couple of cabinets that have just junk everywhere. And I just wanna, it's a great way to organize stuff too and take advantage of all that space. Um, I have a big island and it's in an even deeper cabinet so it'll just be great to, to pull that out and stuff you never need or never use but you don't want to throw away you can put behind the drawer I put a couple of things behind there that I, I want to keep but I don't need them ever really and so I hope this helps you it really is like 10 minutes if you've got a drill gun and you you've got this instructions you can watch this video you just pop that tray out unscrew those four screws Take the tray out. The tray doesn't physically come off the racks. That's what I thought. I kept fooling with it, but it's solid. It's not coming off at all. It's all on there. So unscrew those screws, take the rack off, and then you've got four screws that go into the cabinet to hold it tight, and then you put the rack back on, put that plastic thing back in, click, put your dividers in if you need them, and load it up, and boom, it's done. Right. Put it back in there, boom, it's done. It's that easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you hit that subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, it's free to do so. Cancel at any time, become part of the Zacchaeus Nation. We've got cool videos like this all the time. Home automation, I've got stuff for men coming. I've got all kinds of cool stuff coming. Uh, I've got a new vacuum, robot vacuum a video. Just a lot of stuff coming in 2022. You wanna be a part, you'll get notified first when you subscribe. Hit that bell so you get really subscribed and hit that thumbs up if you like it so everybody knows it's a good video comment below if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them and I will catch you in the next Zacchaeus video peace